Hi, I am here with my old dog, Hannah. She just got out of the bathtub. She is dripping wet. I did not use a high velocity dryer on her because I do not own a high velocity dryer. And she's one of the reasons why I stopped. She used to bark at the top of her lungs when I used a high velocity dryer. She absolutely hates them. I have a mat underneath her and then I have another cotton bath mat on top of that to absorb the water from the bottom. And so anyway, I'm going to get busy. I'm going to shave her ears with a 40 blade. Uh, just before they start to fold down, I'll start. Bring me up close for that. Stay handy. So you can see where they fold. I'm going to start just above that, go straight down the middle, then out to each side. Same thing on the inside, straight up the middle, then out, out, out. Use my thumb to brace it and my fingers to hold it. And then I'm going to switch to a 15 and get further up. This is not a traditional carry blue trim. This She's got dry eye, so I don't keep a fall over her face. So we just improvise here. It's kind of like a teddy bear trim with a carry blue flavor. <laughs> The reason why I switch to a 15 as I get up closer to the head is these areas are a little bit more sensitive. So I don't want to aggravate her skin. Put it back on a 40 and do her pads. And I'm giving her my arm to lean on. So I keep her eyes cleared out pretty good because of the dry eye. She gets clumpy. I have to clean her eyes every day, medicate them every day. And if she has too much hair there, there's room for debris to get caught on. So with dry eye, I do keep it really clear. And then I keep the hair out of her mouth. Good girl. Stand. All right, that is 
done. Now, I'm going to take her top line down with a snap-on comb, knock some of this hair off. I'm using an orange comb. I'm going to start behind the shoulder blades and go straight back towards the tail. I know you're itchy. And right here, I'm going to go against the grain to get a little shorter. And I want to keep her fluffy looking. So I'm going to take the shorter comb and angle off down under the ribs. And then I'm going to set my angulation by coming up against the grain on the back side of the leg. And I'm going to do the same thing on the inside of all four legs. Take them all the way down. Okay. And the reason why I'm not coming all the way around the barrel of the ribs is I want it wide down through here. So it's almost like a hexagon shape that I'm going to create to make her very fluffy but short all at the same time. a break. Down. Come on. Down. Down. Good girl. So while she's taking a break, I'm going to work around her face. I know. It's okay. So I'm going to scissor around the edge of her ears. I always use my fingers as a brace for that. to the edge. So I'm resting the scissor on my fingers and then following my fingers all the way up. So for her face, Kind of go back and forth on what I do with it. She needs some of those cheeks gone. So I'm just take a four blade back in here. Knock those off. under the chin. I just make it up as I go for her. <laughs> it's so hard not to do a carry trim on her. But she doesn't need all that anymore. And then I'm just going to scissor her top knot short. because we don't want her poodly looking. So 
you I'm not a poodle. No. See, I live with poodles, but I'm not a poodle. my thinning shears and come up under here and bulk out some of this beard so she can keep some of this length and not having it all bushing out around her face. enough of a rest you can get up. Mm -hmm. Have you? Get some scissoring done. Okay. Before she gets tired. So when I am moving faster, I comb the entire side of the dog, getting every hair where I want it so I can just go in one clean sweep all the way across, instead of picking over one area. It's quite a mess, isn't it? So I'm going to start going straight up using the full length of my scissors, so opening them wide and getting good wide cuts. Because the whole side of the dog is combed up, I can just go all the way down. Just like with the blow drying, I'll go over the whole thing three times. One's to set the shape, next time is to try to even it out, and the next time is to bring it all together. So I'm not going to sit here and focus on one leg at a time. And don't be afraid to get in there and cut if you're taking it down.
So when I mentioned about the hexagon shape, I'm coming up this way under here, angling it out a little bit more here, keeping her wide here, angling it in here, and then straight across here. And that gives me a nice wide round rib cage. Stand. And when you're looking down on her, she doesn't look super skinny, even though I'm keeping her hair quite short. I know you're itchy. Itchy, itchy, itchy. Stand. And I keep the back legs looking nice and fat, but they're still nice and short by taking this straight, keeping my scissors straight this way, cutting in my angulation, not angling in and chopping, but straight out if that makes sense. But because I took the snap-on comb on the inside of all four legs, I hardly have to touch those on the inside. I can focus out here. Like I said, right now I'm just doing the outline, so I'm just chopping it all off. For the neck, I'm going to use my curves backwards and stretch her head forward from the shoulder going up. Going to create a natural looking neck. Hair out of the way and turn with her around. Turn, 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 turn. Do it all over again over here. So again, kind of comb the entire side of the dog. I don't have to stop and comb, stop and comb, stop and comb. Okay, baby. And then on the final scissoring, I will do more combing as I go.
Part of the reason for me hurrying is because she is an old lady and I want to get this done quickly for her. So you notice I'm keeping my arm still, my wrist still, and I'm moving at my waist to go up and down the dog. That can give you even scissoring quickly. Take a seven blade and go up the back side of her tail. You guys can see. About a third of the way. run a brush over the whole dog. Bring everything out. Get off all this loose hair. I love you. Yes, I love my old dog. Now I'm going to get my finer tooth comb and make sure you guys can see. So I didn't shave in around her face like I normally would with a carry because I kept a fluffy kind of puppy look on her. So like I said, this is non-traditional, 100%.
Can't see. You ought to see the pile of hair I'm standing in. She was hairy. So I started blow drying her at 235, straight from the tub. So we're 45 minutes in, including the blow dry. So from here I can just keep fiddling over it and perfecting it and hand scissoring it, but overall she's plenty good enough, all things considered. One thing you can do with a, wait baby, with a doodle or a carry or any of the dogs with the more wrinkled head or hair. You can put your curl back in by simply dampening up the coat a little and scrunching it. And especially with a dog like her where you don't want them looking poodly, especially the top of the head you want to scrunch, you give it more of that natural look. Just scrunch it out and let it dry. I'm just going to pick at it and tighten it up a little bit, but that's a 45-minute carry. Bye. Be sure to subscribe for more videos, and thanks for watching.